Let's take a further look at this issue and I'm now being joined live from our Abuja studios by a co-convener of the Bring Back Our Girls campaign, Aisha Yusuf. I want to thank you so much indeed for joining us on the News at 10. You have kept this campaign thank for you, the rescue you. of the Chibok girls alive for four years now. How would you assess your efforts so far? Uh, based on uh, our effort, uh, it's been everything really. We have uh, some of our girls back, and that's something. 107 are back. We are a country that normally we would want to forget uh, issues, and we will move on on issues. But the Bring Back Our Girls movement, we said that we're not going to move on on the issue of our Chibo girls until each and every one of them is accounted for and brought back home. And so it, that, that's what has led to the fact that we have 107. We still have 112 that what they are waiting to be rescued and brought back home. We have had other, other rescues. The Lhasa women, they were brought back. The Unimed lecturers, we had to do something to ensure that indeed they, they came back home. And so for that, I think that's part of the things that we have done to ensure that our humanity is not truncated, to ensure that the social contract that we have between us and the government, we work on that, we ensure that it's fulfilled, and we continue to make demands for, all other, for every Nigerian. Chibo girls, they are representation of those who were abducted before and after them. And we keep making those, those demands until every Nigerian, there's not a single Nigerian in captivity. Now, this is what the federal government is saying, that uh, they have made efforts uh, to free the remaining 112 girls from Boko Haram captivity. Now, how much uh, confidence do you have in this assurance? Or put it another way, what do you know about the progress that has been made in that regard? Well, in terms of progress, we really, don't know pro uh, we really don't know much because at every time that we have said to the government that they should put down a feedback mechanism and be able to get to us as movement, as citizens of this country, to be able to get back to the parents, the government hasn't done that. If the government is saying that they have done all that they can, well, for one thing that is very simple, the feedback mechanism in such a situation whereby they reach out to the parents, parents of 112 girls that are still missing out there, the government hasn't reached out to them. The government does doesn't say anything to them. And so in what way do I as a citizen, in what way do we as a movement know that the government is doing what it says that it's doing? Because what we have, the easy part that can be done, it hasn't done that. Even with the DAPG parents, those of the DAPG parents that lost their children, the government hasn't said anything to them. Leah Sharibu, we spoke with Leah Sharibu's mom, and she said the government hasn't reached out to them. So if you're looking at those things that are very easy for the government to do, and they're not doing it, how can we believe that this, when they say they are, doing all the, that they are doing all they can to ensure that our girls are brought back home? We believe in the Nigerian government, and that's why we continuously make demands on the Nigerian government. A lot of people, right from day one of our advocacy, had said to us, why don't you ask the terrorists to, bring, to, to, to return the girls? We said, no. We don't know the terrorists. We gave the government our mandate, and we believe in the government, and we'll continue to make the demands on the government to fulfill its primary responsibility, which is the protection of lives and properties. And indeed, it must be done. 107 girls are back. We have 112 that need to, that need to be brought back home and ensure that they go on to get the education that the terrorists try to truncate. Your campaign has uh, indeed been very strong. Yesterday, as a matter of fact, officers of the Nigerian police disrupted your gathering in Abuja. What do you think this pretends for your campaign? Well, for us, uh, for us it, has, it makes us more resolved. We, 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 from the day one that we came out to, to start advocating, 30th of April 2014, we made a commitment that we would not stop on this issue. We would not stop advocating until each and every one of our Chibok girls is accounted for and is brought back home safely. So the police over time have tried to intimidate us and we have refused to be intimidated. It's, it's amazing that in such a case where the police have seen that we have refused to be intimidated, they are not learning. Not only yesterday we were surprised when the police came to harass us, they also stole our property. The police are supposed to protect us and also ensure that our properties are safe. Yet right here we have the Nigerian police force that is supposed to be the law enforcer, turning out to be the lawbreaker by stealing our property. These are things that we bought with our own movement. Our movement is a self-funded movement. Everything we do, we do it with our sweat. From members of the movement, we have refused to collect anything from anybody. And the little that we are doing, the police is coming at us, not only to harass us, this time to steal 
in our properties. In, the, in 2014, we saw police watching when hoodlums destroyed our properties. This time they decided to take it. But one thing that they need to know, we have gone to court. We, have, we went to the court, and the courts agreed that we have a right to protest peacefully. We have a right to make demands. This is democracy. I think the Buhari administration should understand something, that this is a democracy, and they cannot shut down voices of citizens that are demanding for justice in this country. We will continue to make our demands. And what was one, more worrisome and more pathetic and more sad yesterday was that was the fact that... Um, Almost a hundred Nigerian that, uh, citizens were killed. I'm, I'm afraid that we will have to uh, drop it at that. My sincere apologies, even though uh, we don't have confirmed reports on channels television about the uh, veracity of your claims. We do sincerely thank you so much indeed for talking to us. Aisha Yusufu, a co-convener of the Bring Back Our Girls campaign.